I passed out of NIT Jamshedpur in 2013. Since then, I've been working with Samsung. So it's been almost three years. I gave CAT and I got a percentile of 99.02 and uh, in that I got 99.7. Uh, this was my fourth attempt at MBA entrance exams. This year I got a 99 percentile. Uh, in my earlier attempts, starting from the first attempt to the third, I got a 96, a 67 and an 84. I got a call from uh, I am A, B, L, K, S, SPJN, MDI, XLRI and IFT. I converted all my calls except I am Ahmedabad. So I'm headed to I am Bangalore. So my CAT preparation strategy was that uh, instead of going in for a classroom program, I decided that uh, let's just do an online thing so that it saves a lot of time on transportation. And uh, also since CAT had been changing a lot for the past two or three years, I decided that I'll take uh, three or four mock series because that will help bring variety. And uh, as far as materials are concerned, I joined various online forums like Pagal Guy. Uh, but frankly, I did not have enough time for them because of the number of mocks that I was giving. So I joined Alpha Numerics online class because it helped me save time on commuting. And uh, every day I used to come home at around 8.30 and attend the class from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. So those were the night lectures which really helped. If, let's say, I have to stay back at work and uh, I'm coming late and I'm missing one day's class, so I could see that class in the recorded lectures at a time of my ease. Also, uh, they gave us an online app. So in that, you had all the formulas and standard sums. So whenever you found time while commuting or in office, so you would use up that time and it helps you prepare well. What really worked for me were the boost camps. Uh, there were two boost camps that were uh, organized twice in the year. They were really rigorous in the sense that we had five to six sessions in a day. And that was the time that I really saw a boost in my mock scores. So it was a capsule program in the sense that along with CAT preparation, we were made to prepare for ZAT, IAFT and MAT. There were various tests for these exams. Uh, and along with that, we also had two full day GK sessions and uh, there were various GK tests that were uploaded on the website so that you could prepare for other things that are not a part of a typical CAT preparation scheme. So you, you have to find time when you are commuting to work and uh, whenever you are a little free in the office. So I used the app, the Alphanumeric app and the other materials that I had. So uh, with that, I used to make sure that even if I have a 30, 30 minute break, so I use it to the fullest. So my daily routine during my preparation was uh, that I get up at 8 and rush to office. So I come back by 7 and then give 2 or 3 hours to my preparation. But in weekends, I used to stretch a lot, uh, stay at home and give it some 6-7 hours. So the major challenges that I faced were preparing myself for the verbal section and the fact that CAT changed in form every year. So as soon as you accustom yourself to one form, they change the format. So to bring in a variety in your scheme, is a little difficult. The interview phase, it had two rounds, uh, the written ability and the personal interview. Uh, written ability, half of the marks were allotted to content and half to structure. Uh, in the PI round, there were it was a panel of three members, two faculty and one alumnus. Uh, they were basically concerned about how a person is going to react when he's put into different situations and uh, they were concerned about your ethics factor. Also, they wanted to see whether you're going to stick to a particular stand or whether they can make you change your stand. Yeah, and one very important point was that they made you prepare a statement of purpose. What are your long-term and short-term goals? It's a document of 600 words that uh, every participant was made to prepare. And from that, they asked you a, a few questions. For decision-making, I believe it has got a lot to do with you and uh, how you behave in certain situations, keeping ethics in place. We had a few sessions at, uh, at, at the class where Insert told us that uh, ethics is foremost. Even uh, if you have to choose between a practical and an ethical solution, then you go for an ethical one. So that helps you in the long run. My suggestion for future aspirants is that uh, since it's a competitive exam, you may fail, but uh, don't lose heart and just uh, try and change some tactics. Try and see where you're going wrong and try and correct it. 
uh, give more mocks because the form of the exam changes again and again and uh, try and put in more effort and you're likely to succeed the next time.